Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, Mr. Lazaro just brought the charges that uh, I was not, I was out of context. I was not talking. Look, the cast, I've given you the quotation to prove that Jesus Christ did not die on the cross. Now, if he died on the cross, then we will talk about salvation. But the question, what I did was, I've given you over 20 verses or so from your scripture that Christ did not die on the cross. And I gave you reasons upon reasons and I was on top of the topic. Salvation through Jesus Christ, through the Quran or through the Bible. Now, if Christ did not die, then that means there's no salvation. So what I did was I dismantled the concept of salvation, uh, uproot it completely from your books. That's what I did. And now you're talking about in Islam, there's no salvation. Really? There's no salvation? Ask Jesus. Didn't Jesus say, if you want to go to heaven, keep the law of Moses? This man came to ask him, I've given you already, Matthew 29, 16. This man wants to go to heaven. He said, good master, what good must I do to enter life eternally, to enter heaven eternally? And Jesus Christ said, if you want to enter heaven, keep the commandment of Moses. And that is the law. In Islam, it's simple, rational, straightforward, unambiguous statement. Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Period. You believe in Allah and his messengers and the books, and then you do good. And that is exactly what the Bible said. Where? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. It says, listen to the end of the matter. This is the whole matter. Follow God, do good, and act upon the laws and commandments. Because upon that, God will judge you in the day of judgment. Simple, clear statement. I'm not quoting from any book, but from your books. Yet you are accusing me that I'm out of context. I'm not out of context. I'm on target. And the concept, now he just quoted a verse that Jesus Christ did so many miracles. Which miracle did Jesus Christ do? Which miracle? Believe me, Jesus Christ never performed a single miracle in the Bible. Not a single miracle. I've never seen it yet. And I read the Bible from cover to cover. Different versions. For more than 20 years, I have never seen a single miracle performed by Jesus. Not even one. You know why I say that? Let's ask Jesus if he do the miracle. Where? Book of John, chapter 5, verse 30. Jesus Christ is speaking. He said, I can of my own self do nothing. The way I hear, I judge. Because I'm not seeking my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Did he do miracle? He didn't do miracle. He said, I can of my own self do nothing. Whatever I do, it is my Father. Book of John, chapter 28, verse 14. He said, my Father is greater than all. My Father is greater than I. If I do any miracle and performance, it is not I that do it, but the Father in me who sent me and give me the power with the Holy Spirit, then I do this. Where did Jesus perform miracle? Nowhere. You say he walked on water, therefore he's God, therefore he's deserved to die for you. You say, you know, somebody died and he raised him up. You said Lazarus died. Look, they always give you Lazarus died and Jesus raised him up. Only God can raise you up when you die. Let's ask Jesus if he actually raise Lazarus from the dead. This is the book of John chapter 11. All chapter 11, the whole chapter 11 of the book of John is speaking about Jesus and Lazarus. I'm going to put it in a nutshell and I'll give it to you in condensed. What happened was that Christ was very close to Lazarus and Christ left the city. He left the town. He left the village. By the time he left, Lazarus died. So when Lazarus died, they went and buried him in a sepulchre. A sepulchre in the ancient time is a carved out roomy chamber of a stone that they hewn. So they put him inside and they put huge stone at the entrance of that's how they buried in those days. So after four days, Lazarus was dead. The fourth day, Jesus Christ came to the village. When Martha, the sister of Lazarus, heard that the master was in town, she ran to him. She said, Master, your friend Lazarus is dead. If you were here, you would have risen him. And Jesus Christ said, Martha, he's not dead. He is alive. He will be awake. And she said, yes, Master, I know he will be uh, 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 up in the day of judgment. And Jesus Christ said, even now, Martha, if you have faith, you will see the glory of God. Show me where you bury him. So on the way going to the sepulcher, Jesus Christ began to commune with God. Listen to what he said. I am quoting Word for word, I'm not adding, I'm not deleting. Jesus Christ, on the way going to where they bury Lazarus, he began to commune with God. But what he was saying was not audible. The people could not understand that mysterious communication between him and God. So the Bible said, and Jesus wept in the spirit. 
the shortest sentence in the Bible. And Jesus wept. And Jesus groaned in the spirit. In other words, oh my father, give me the power. Oh my father, this is it. Oh my father, give me the power to raise him. So the people who were there, they could not understand what he was saying. So they said, and Jesus groaned in the spirit. When he get the assurance to raise Lazarus, he said, open, remove the stone. So when they removed the stone, Jesus Christ spoke Hebrew and he said, Salisa komni Lazarus. In other words, get up, Lazarus. And Lazarus came out. He came out from the dead with bandages around him. And Jesus said, remove the bandages. So they removed the bandages around him. And the people begin to say, oh my God, he is God. This and because only God could raise someone from the dead. <clears throat> but Jesus Christ, he knew or he heard what they were saying. Listen to what he said after Lazarus came back from the dead. Christ looked up in the heaven and he said, Oh my father, I know that thou hearest me. And I know that thou hearest me always. Meaning whatever I ask of you, you give it to me. Oh my father, I know that thou hearest me. And I know that thou hearest me always. But I am saying this loudly so that they may know that thou art doing the works. Where did Jesus perform miracle? Nowhere. Himself, no miracle. Moses parted the Red Sea. You know what is the Red Sea? Parted the Red Sea. Was he God? No. God gave him the power. I was waiting for you to quote me, you know, that verse. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I was hoping that you quote that. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That is what they always quote. I agree with that. Jesus Christ was the way. He was the truth. He was the life. I agree. No problem. In return, I'm asking you this question. At the time of Moses, who was the way, the truth, and the life? Who? Moses. Because if you follow him, you are successful. At the time of Noah, who was the way, the truth, and the life? Noah. Christ did not say, I am the only way. There are so many ways. But at that time, he was the way, the truth, and the life. And really, no one go to the Father but through him. But he said to you in John chapter 14, verse 16, If you love me, keep my commandment, not, not anyone's commandment. Keep my commandment. In Matthew 24, 24, he said, For there shall arise many false prophets and false Christ, who will show you many great wonders and signs, if it were possible to deceive my own very elect. Among them is Paul, who have never seen Jesus, came and wrote Galatians, Ephesians, Thessalonians, all the books, 20... 20, 28 books, I think, he, he wrote 27 books wrote by Paul. More than half of the book was written by Paul. Since I have two minutes more left, I'm going to throw in this. It is not part of it, but I'm going to throw it because this is the only time I've seen you. I'm telling the Christians, the name of Jesus is not Jesus. In the day of judgment, you see Jesus Christ. You say, Jesus, he wouldn't even look at you because that was not his name. When he was born, the name given to him was Yeshua. Yeshua, not Jesus. But Yeshua is too long, so they cut it off. They call him Esau. As he walked in Jerusalem, his name was Esau. In Arabic, is what? Isa. Esau, Isa. Hebrew, Arabic, very close. If they say Shalom, we say Salam, meaning peace. If they say Nevim, we say Nabi, meaning prophet. If they say Gehenna, we say Jahannama, meaning hellfire. If they say Shabbat, we say Sabaa, meaning servant. If they say Roshul, we say Rasul. If they say Nabi, we say Nabi. If they say, we are very close to each other. So therefore, Christ's name is not Jesus. Because in Hebrew language, there is no J at all. Remove the J. How would you call him? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. James, take off the J. Amis. Benjamin, take off the J. Benjamin. Joseph, take out the J. Joseph, Yusuf. It's very close to Islam. You have mutilated everything. You change it. You are very lucky this is not the time. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.